Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's MTG box analysis will focus on the opening of a March of the Machine Aftermath Collector Booster Box that took place on April 8th, 2024. Let's get things started by reviewing the contents of the box. Using this chart, we can see the set shaded in gray, the non-foils we observed in green, and the foils in orange. In collector booster packs, the only non-foils you'll be able to see are gonna be extended R cards, and today we saw nine of them. In the foil space, you will only see rares and mythics from the main set, and only a single card per pack. Showcase, retro frame, and extended R cards, as well as halo foils, will vary by box. In today's box, we ended up seeing 17 showcase, two foil retro frames, four extended R cards, and four halo foils. All packs will contain one uncommon and one rare or mythic etched foil for a consistent 24 per box. Next, let's move in the coverage of the set. In the non-foil space, we saw nine of the 35 extended R cards, which gave us 26% coverage of the category. In the foil space, we saw 58 unique cards, which gave us 34% coverage of all foils if we exclude the rare halo foils. Pivoting the coverage by rarity, in today's box, we saw seven non-foil rares, which gave us 28% coverage, and our two non-foil mythics yielded 20% coverage. In the foil space, we saw 80% of the uncommons, along with 33 foil rares for 33% coverage, and five foil mythics good enough for 13% coverage. Before getting into the value of today's collector booster box, let's take a look at the current value of the Aftermath set. In collector booster boxes, you can see up to 21 cards valued over $10, including nine Halo foils, three extended R cards, three etched foils, one showcase, and two retro frames, as well as three cards from the main set. There's also 11 cards valued between $5 and $10 up for grabs, and 65 cards in the $1 to $5 range. The other 116 cards are currently valued under a dollar. Now let's recap the actual observed value that we saw in today's box. We ended up seeing three cards valued over $10. We saw the foil standard frame Calyx Guided by Fate valued at $12.36, the non-foil extended art Calyx valued at $13.21, and the etched foil Nissa Resurgent Animus valued at $23.93. We also picked up two cards in the $5 to $10 range, plus 16 cards valued between $1 and $5. The other 51 cards in the box are currently valued under a buck. So how did this box perform? Well, the market price for this box as of April 7th is $88.97. The Aftermath Collector Booster Box contains 12 packs, each with six cards, allowing you to see 72 cards plus tokens. The 12 tokens have a current market value of $2.35. The 24 uncommons are currently valued at $5.33. The 41 rares that we pulled are valued at $49.97. And finally, the seven mythics are valued at $61.35. Add it all up and the grand total for this box comes up to be $119 in card market value, which is a gain of $30.03 over the current market price for the box and means that this box returned 134% of the market price in card value. Now, for those of you interested in cards valued just over $2, the numbers look like this. In total, we saw 16 cards valued over two bucks in this box and they have a current combined value of $97.98, which means that those 16 cards represent 110% of the market price for the box. Be sure to come back in a few days to watch me crack open another one of these fun little boxes. Until then, do something amazing. Get early access to videos, download the analysis for every box open on the channel, and personally DM me, just like these fine people. All by becoming a member of the channel through YouTube or over at mtgboxanalysis.com. You'll find links in the description. Until next time, do something amazing.